Welcome to Live Action Star Wars. My name is James. I'm Ralph. And today we are back to talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi Part 3. Uh, and we're not going to do it alone. We are bringing back a, a favorite guest of ours and of yours uh, from our Book of Boba Fett talk. You know him, well, from that one, one time on this podcast, but mostly from <laughs> uh, the Ralph Report and a slew of other places, including his comedy special that you can find on Amazon Prime. Mr. Eddie Pence. Hey, guys. Hey, dude. hey Eddie. How's, <laughs> how's it going? going? Thanks for having me back. Thanks for coming Listen, back. Thanks for coming back. Your episode is, well, I'm not going to say the most viewed episode on our channel because pe people are getting duped into thinking that our episode of the Ewok Adventures is actually the show Ewok Adventures. And people think that, is that uh, because you Star titled Wars it the that Jedi. Way? Well, we tell them all what they are. They're what they're watching for just long enough so that we get a view off of it. So it's great. I, I think <laughs> I, I think our most viewed is from Star Wars to Jedi, which runs about approximately the same runtime as the documentary. <laughs> so, I mean, did anybody clock the the runtime on this episode of Kenobi? Uh, I just watched it again. It was like a solid it's like 40 47 minutes. Min yeah, 47 minutes or something like that. Yeah. Well, when you, it's when like you... six minutes of credits. So it's six like minutes of minutes, credits, yeah. and then you get rid of like the one minute like previously on, and I think it's, yeah. it's at an even 40. We'll yeah. try to hit that runtime. Huh? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> but I mean, the thing is, it's it'll say like guest Eddie Pence, so it's... Yeah. I mean, and unless that, they think you're on the show. That'll draw everybody in. That'll bring yeah. everybody yeah. Well, I mean, we could have said guest Zach Braff. You should. That'll bring more people in. <laughs> I thought it was. I I thought it was Seth. Rogen. And then keep and then keep the whole show go. Zach Braff will be here any minute. And yeah, then he, just sorry, he's just running late. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I I thought that was uh, Seth Rogen until the credits came up, and I was like, oh, that was Zach Braff. Weird. Um, yeah, yeah. That's 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 uh, a that, the guy position. with the, the the thing on his face, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he was doing a voice. <laughs> butthole mouth. <laughs> butthole mouth. It was like it was, <laughs> he's, he's like a severe hemorrhoided <laughs> butthole mouth. Yeah, yeah. He kind of looked like the space herpy from um, a little ice bit Pirates. from Ice yeah. Pirates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had he had the space herpy evolved, it would have turned into him. Into Zach Braff. <laughs> yeah. Or had the space herpy and Zach Braff mated, and that's what they would have had. <laughs> we have folks in the chat. My sister, my wife always supporting me my wife didn't watch this episode yet Oof. she had to work early today okay because we're gonna go see the orville season three premiere in imax in los angeles Ooh, wow. and i love the orville i love that show yeah you do and before before last week i was more excited for the orville premiere than i was kenobi Ooh. but i think but things then kenobi shifted <laughs> yeah i think i mean listen i i've said it before I've, i'll say it again I, I, I liked Mandalorian. I liked Book of Boba Fett. I don't find them terribly rewatchable. Mm. But dude, like I re already rewatched episode one and two of Kenobi. I love this show so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, I think we're so we're so familiar with that character, and we just and our entire, entire childhoods were like, what happened between that period of the end of the Clone Wars right. and when we see him in A New Hope? Like that's. that's you know that just, Mandalorian doesn't have that interest to it. We love I like Mandalorian and Boba Fett, but yeah, the way that it's all being presented as well, it just really yeah. is hitting all those movie notes. It's yeah, it's hitting it's more. It well. It's hitting stuff that I never even thought about, especially mm. in today's episode. Um, Interesting. Uh, I mean, we've known forever that the Jedi were taken from their families, mm. like at an early age, yeah. and we've never really explored the repercussions of that yeah and we've only known obi-wan is this cool detective jedi guy mm -hmm. yeah and to get into his... his personal past is like this is all new information and sad yeah. well it's, it's hitting old stuff from like the radio dramas as well is not it where like like uncle owen was ben's brother was obi-wan's brother yeah, originally right. like so it's, it's going mm -hmm. back to things like that and like oh, hinting oh. at a brother and i mentioned it last week in the original script of the Star Wars by mm -hmm. George Lucas, Obi Wan had a robot arm or hand. Yeah, maybe we're gonna get it after this episode. It could I happen. Mean, mm, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get some flashback to because you know they. Whenever people go to a back to tank or try to heal up, they seem to love to do flashbacks. So yeah. I think yeah. I think we might be getting Vader going back to the fortress, Obi Wan going to Jabim or Jabim. <laughs> 
uh, and getting some getting some healing. Yeah, like that, that's that been one of my favorite things about this series so far has been because I what I before this series started, I rewatched Revenge of the Sith just to sort of like get some steam yeah, going so into we. this series. Yeah. yeah, and to see the difference <laughs> in Obi Wan at the end of Revenge of the Sith mm. compared to ten years of isolation and just the broken man that he has become. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's and he's like he's, no confidence. He's... Just he's just completely he's afraid. Like you've yeah. never and seen Obi Wan co- afraid before. What I love it's, about it too is that he's so broken, he can't fight the way he used to fight. He fights the way he does in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Like the bridging of that gap of of Obi Wan, like seeing the Jedi flip around and do all this crazy shit, and then seeing Episode Four where he's like, yeah, going hey, like this. Just like this is the perfect bridge for that. Mm-hmm. And it's just like when you look back at Obi Wan throughout the Clone Wars and through the the prequel, he. You can make an argument he's the he's one of the most powerful Jedi's to ever live. I mean, he's up there with Obi Wan and Mace yeah. Windu as far as fighting goes, and the stuff yeah. he's gotten mm-hmm. out of before. And now he's just this broken shell of what he used to be, and it's just fascinating to see that. He's contrast. a he's a trauma sufferer. Like the way that he's yeah. sort of sat mental. there, like he's 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 nervously fiddling with his hands while he's trying to commune with Qui Gon still, and he's like he's. He sort of tuned himself back into the force a bit, but he's not there. He's definitely not got his mojo back. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like he's yeah, he's suffering. He's got PTSD. Like, big even time. even when he's not sleeping, he's seeing Anakin. Yeah. It's like yeah. everywhere he looks, it's Anakin. It's it's that, and when he looks at the Empire, second, he... it took a second viewing for me to realize that that the Jedi that he was seeing off in the distance was Anakin, that vision yeah. was Anakin. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, though, and, and now think knowing... about the entire the entire weight of the galaxy yeah. is on his shoulder. Everything is his fault. This whole yeah. thing is his and fault. And he he really knows it now. And he wears it. Knowing yeah. that Anakin is alive as Darth Vader. Mm. Yeah. So so now he realizes he's 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 just looking at the at the stormtroopers, he realizes the extent of his mistake. All yeah. of it. Like um, all of it. It's it's I mean, what a, a weight to bear. Like it's all well and good that there are other Jedi out there. I like that there are other Jedi out there and they're all sort of trying to continue on the fight um, in their own ways, like big and small. We know that Ahsoka was doing that like previously. We know that Cal gotta... Kestis in the, the video game is doing similar. Like, and there are other those. people. Kanan's out there hiding. Yeah, Kan- yeah Kanan's hiding at the moment. Like, he there's... was name dropped, right? No, Quinlan. Quinlan Voss. Quinlan, Quinlan Voss was yeah. name dropped. Yeah, love Quinlan Voss. Um, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, and like the fact that Quinlan Voss and Jabim were both in like the old uh, Dark Horse comics quite a lot. Um, yeah. And that was, yeah, that was John Ostrando and Jan Dersima creation. Um, both of those places, I believe. So it was cool to get both of them mentioned. But I mean, even through the Clone Wars, like Quinlan Voss had a really good connection with Obi Wan. Yeah, well, they had um, that whole battle with Cad Bane, and, and that's the it. They were, they were, they yeah. were, they were mates, and then yeah. he ended up like having his old story arc with uh, Ventress as well. So, to know that he's out there is really cool. Um, if we're going to Jabim, we might get to see him next week, which would be really interesting. Right. Would have, would I have miss, never I had him it. on my bingo card. <laughs> right, I misheard it. I heard Kanan. I didn't go back yeah. to re-listen, and then when uh, Obi Wan mentioned the quote of using the Force. Uh, you could be kind of attuned on the force once you get rid of your vision or whatever. I was like, you oh, close that's your like eyes, Kanan. you can see the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I guess Kanan, I don't, I don't Kanan know. wouldn't be blind yet. Mind. And no. yeah. he wasn't even Kanan yet. He was uh, Caleb Dune, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, well, that was, that's his Jedi name. He was, he went under Kanan as his, yeah, that was his name. in hiding, but he yeah, was, yeah. he was still hiding. He wasn't even admitting he was a Jedi at this point. No, no, he was just drinking himself to death, I think. Yeah. Um, We've all um, Rick says after this episode, I'm really thinking about your theory about Reva from your last Obi Wan episode. Might you might might be true, um, Eddie. Last week I mentioned that I believe the reason why the scene wasn't cut at the beginning of last week's with the school shooting, yeah, um, is because the first person we see in that shot looks an awful lot like Reva as yeah. a, as a youngling, yeah. I, and I believe, as well, they focus on her more than any of yeah. the other younglings. And I believe that she wants to get to Obi-Wan because that'll get her closer to Anakin, the person who she's seeking revenge. So, and yeah. the oh. fact that she knows that Vader and Anakin are one and the same, like that's not public knowledge. Um, I think she knows because it 
it's she seems like the inquisitors can 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 in her mind she knows that's anakin oh like, maybe they can, I, see, they can read people's thoughts i'm thinking the I, I think it seems like that certain way. certain jedi can i like definitely but i think that's yeah. sort of a more of an intuition but i think that's how she put two and two together with vader and anakin i i think yeah because from my understanding anakin was presumed dead by everyone yeah. and vader was just yeah. a, a, Sith a guy that turned out palpatine yeah yeah like not many people know anakin and vader are the one and the same even like i mean uh tarkin figures it out because he's really smart uh thrawn figures it out because he's really smart but m- yeah like most other imperial officers don't know yeah. um and yeah like a lot of imperials he shows up and like the imperial guards first time they just attack him because they think he's there to assassinate palpatine because palpatine's not right. revealed himself as a sith he's just right. at least at this point he's just like the emperor who was the former chancellor is this book um, stuff books comics like it's okay. yeah it's yeah things with paper P- things with paper <laughs> things or digital. i can't watch it i don't know it <laughs> it's it's true that's the thing about this show is like I called it live action stars because I'm not reading any books and I don't feel like <laughs> talking about the cartoons because there's just too many of them. But I like getting the information from James, who is like well versed in all of it. So it's a Here's good cliff notes. Yeah. Es- essentially. I'm 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 the audio visual version of Wikipedia for Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Um because he won't read. Um <laughs> even I blame him. I just won't. It's so boring. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking, I'm just I'm just reading Green Lantern comics. That's it. <laughs> at this point um so my the way i thought is i think we're getting more of that flashback and i think as they're escaping she's gonna see anakin skywalker this hero jedi slaughtering other jedi i think she's gonna witness that or younglings she might be in the room she She might might be in the room room. yeah she i think the younglings escaped yeah Yeah. i think she's gonna get away and then like get picked up later but yeah i think she's gonna see it and i think that's how she goes oh shit hang on this vader guy and that anakin guy the same yeah yeah pretty dark a yeah. uh, lot of vader a lot of i was vader. surprised i really thought we were gonna get barely vader in this series i thought um, they were gonna hold it until like the episode six i really I mean, we only have we're halfway through yeah but to see uh, him walk through he... that town and just like snap that dude's neck like that i'm like wow it's just he's i mean i think that's the thing it's like even at this point like people don't really know vader that much and if they do see him they're just gonna think because the inquisitors seem to be a bit more well known so I think they're just going to think he's like this big bad Inquisitor dude. And so yeah. he's walking through and yeah, he's just trying well, to draw we've out. Seen more, we've seen more Inquisitors in action than we've seen Vader in action. Absolutely. Honest. And like, yeah. the, the galaxy at large definitely will have. So um, it's, yeah. I mean, outside of Rogue One and the end of Rogue yeah. One, we've never really seen a badass live action Vader. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know, um, and then to see him walk through that town and just like just throw drag, people around and kill, yeah, drag just that lady. trying, trying jet to draw Obi Wan out. Like how powerful you don't realize how powerful Vader really was. I'm just ruthless. Right. Like it's we've again we've seen him slaughtering those rebels, but they were they were a combative force. That was battle. Are, that was battle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. These are innocents. Like this is literally yeah. just a man killing innocents. It's yeah, yeah. The 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 confrontation. I didn't think it was going to happen, and it did in a big way. I, uh, I thought for sure they were going to hold, because the way the first couple episodes, the first, especially episode two and the beginning of the episode, the way Obi-Wan was holding that lightsaber, mm-hmm. I thought they were going to wait and make like a big reveal when he finally ignites it. Yeah, like I thought it was gonna take up. It was gonna be a moment when he finally ignites that blade, and it wasn't. They kept they teased like I, they were going to, and all of a sudden they just he just pops it on. Yeah, but I lo- that's what I like. Yeah, I like that this show doesn't feel like it's shooting for the moments, the yeah. way that the other shows do, because um, we're all expecting the slow mo shot. Maybe he does the the force grab the lightsaber right. thing like Yoda. Right. It's but the like way big... they've been building up that lightsaber for the last couple episodes, you really thought it was going to be a moment when he finally ignites it and they it, totally blow by. It, it still is. It's but it's, yeah, it, it is, but it's, it's not like, yeah. cause he's holding it like several times like this and just yeah. like, you're waiting for him to like, and then he just out of fear just turns it on. Yeah. They do the classic, they do the classic duel in the street where, where Vader's in the foreground with this lightsaber on and Obi-Wan's yeah. in the background and he runs away. He, it's like he it's, just turns and it's, runs. It's not a. It's not a I like mean, a dolly shot who moving who in and yeah. <laughs> this is the man who literally jumped down in front of General Grievous and like a thousand battle yeah. droids and just said hello there. 
Yeah, without a care in the world. And like, now he yeah. takes off running from one dude. And it's yeah. it's so good. It's the perfect storytelling. And it's, and it's a it's, dude he knows. He knows played. how that dude yeah. fights. Yeah. The last time he fought that dude, they were flipping all over the place. Yeah. Like, it's not it's, played, it's not played as like a big force run away. It's like he's just like Okay, bye. And just turns and yeah. runs. Like it's a it's fear. It's genuine fear. And, and I f- again, Ralph, I thought when when he's running through like the basically the, the mounds of dirt or whatever, I yeah. was expecting Vader to appear like up high on one because of the uh, look, he's oh, yeah, yeah. and again, I like you, I'm just like I'm really glad that they didn't do that. That's it's too on yeah. the nose. Like, do it right. right. Vader's not gonna be climbing things if he doesn't need to. He doesn't he can just walk straight He's toying in. with Obi-Wan. Exactly. And it's what's funny mouse. is I, when Obi-Wan comes out to the street to confront Vader, I feel like in his mind, he's thinking, oh, if he just sees me, I can talk to him and, and turn him back. And it's just like, no, yeah, yeah, no, he's done. And uh, he, he corners Obi-Wan and does some fucked up shit. Yeah. Yeah. He, this, I mean, it's torture basically. He, yeah. It's, but it's an eye for an eye type of torture. It's yeah. it's you need to feel what I feel, and he drops those. I don't know what some sort of I, coal, whatever they're mining, whatever they were mining, space coal. Yeah, and then just just drops them down in it, and I'm like, holy shit! Like yeah, I don't yeah. know how he's gonna get out of this. Um, and it was just brutal. Mm. Was and just the brutal. fact that he just held, he kept him on one side as well. It was like it was almost like. Um, yeah, you're getting this today. Next day, we'll do the other arm, and then he's just gonna. Well, work yeah, he. Through. I mean, he obviously le- he's playing with him the whole time because he yeah. could have killed him at any moment, and he lets him go at the end because he th- that wall of fire is not gonna stop him if he wanted to. He. he so I want to know what, what's again, the motivation like... to let him go. Is he just like I want to drag this out, or is he trying to maybe find out does Obi Wan know where other Jedi are? What's the point of letting Obi Wan go? I think because I'm, he I obviously think lets him go. Yeah, I think all of that. I think yeah, I think he. He's he wants to drag it out. He wants Obi Wan to suffer. He knows that Obi Wan is mentally suffering. Now he's in some yeah. physical pain. Let him stay in as much pain as pass, and then he's out there. He's revealed himself. I'm just gonna hunt him down now. Yeah. The uh, the Lucasfilm playing the long game by showing us the teaser image months and months ago of Obi Wan and Vader fighting lightsabers on like scaffolding. Or whatever that that image was that they they released for this series, and for them to have it just be more of a a mental confrontation and have it be Obi Wan being sad I think, and Vader being brutal. I think it was we're like, gonna get another fight. I think we're gonna get one more fight. Oh, I, well, I think end. we have to get another think, fight. Yeah. But, but yeah. we have to get one of Obi Wan at least not being so broken. He's got to yeah. he's got to sort of resemble the the Alec Guinness Obi-Wan of A New Hope towards the end of this series, I would imagine, unless we're going to a, se- a season two or something. I'm yeah. hoping it's just one. The way this is going, six episodes, that's it's... like the equivalent of almost three movies. Like, I think the way it was that. built, the way it was designed, the way it was written, directed, shot, everything, it was always designed as like a single six episode. Because if this was... And it was, I think it... they, they were calling yeah. it an event series. But then in press, I think Ewan's come out and said like, with the right, only if the the story is right. But he's like, yeah. he's not opposed to coming back. But I, I, said, I feel like if there was, to. if they were going to do more than one season, the last shot of season one would be Vader in the back to tank. Yeah, yeah. But I think the so. way they're the way they're 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 fast tracking this this story. Like I feel like I'm happy with this because this mm. is a, the equivalent of a of a almost a trilogy. Yeah, like it's 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 you know six two hour blocks shows yeah. yeah and um and i i don't know i i think i i'm i'm happy with vader showing up i'd be fine if he didn't show up again i don't know what the rest of the story would be but um as far as right now goes i'm really glad th- how this how this chunk ended because when you look at star wars he comes back with confidence to confront Vader. Mm-hmm. He's now learned from Qui-Gon about becoming one with the Force. And yeah. that should be the thing where he... This is th- That's him winning. Yeah, This is him losing. And I don't know if I want more between there where he's winning again. I think he needs to end this series with Vader thinking that Obi-Wan is dead. Oh. I think... I think you have the flip. Like you ended the trilogy, you ended the prequel trilogy with Obi Wan thinking that Anakin was dead. You end this series with Vader thinking that Obi Wan is dead, so that when he says 
a presence I've not felt since. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's not since I, what well, he left me to die on Mustafa. It's since yeah. he died, since Obi Wan died, um, as, right. and that's how he can go back to Tatooine and live in hiding, like without really too much worry, and can yeah. you know put his name on a, a lease or something for his little hut. Yeah, he's he's uh, okay. So another thing we mentioned last week was Leia not remembering Obi Wan. Um, again, fun. they're reiterating that she knows him as Ben. <laughs> so there's that. I'm I don't see a problem with go. her knowing Ben, but, ben Kenobi. But, but I mean, but then now, she's just like, you You served my father in the Clone Wars, which is just she's, like... She's in a rush, and she's just basically yeah. pleading to what will get him to join the fight at that point. She knows right. that he's going to be reluctant. Maybe and she, she yeah. thinks Ben is dead. And maybe she thinks... Well, and this yeah. Obi-Wan is still alive. Um... But yeah. I, want to, I want to rewatch that scene with the hologram and Leia, and just he does watch mention a brother. Guinness. Yeah. Wait, what? Sorry. He does mention a brother to her, so maybe he she thinks that Obi Wan is Ben's brother. <laughs> oh, could be, could be. But that scene where the hologram comes up in Star Wars. Yeah. I just want to look at Alec Guinness's performance and see if it can be part of the story. Yeah. Because again, and it 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 just it's I mean, he'll know it's her. retconning in the best of ways because it takes the um, the she's asking for Obi Wan Kenobi, but when Luke arrives in the cell block and he's like, "I'm here with Ben Kenobi," and then she gets excited at Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi, where is he? And so oh. she's like, "Oh shit, I know that guy. <laughs> I'm going to go hang- before." Yeah, <laughs> we've played, <laughs> we've done this before. Oh man. Um, yeah, the show. The thing I love about the show is it's so tied to the prequels and the original trilogy, and it's really filling the gaps nicely. It's it's and doing a it's, really good job, and it's bringing up stuff I didn't think about before. Like I mentioned, Obi Wan Kenobi having a family. Obviously, he had a family, but the fact that he has like memories of his brother, yeah, images, um, and and he was like, yeah. yes, yes, images. So he was taken at a very very young age. But still has impressions of his of his um, of his brother, mm. the way that Leia mm-hmm. may have images of her mother, mm-hmm. which would help with uh, Return of the Jedi. And him yeah. talking about this and talking about the Force, and like her asking, like, what does it feel like? It's almost like it's sort of starting to unlock things in her, like those yeah. like images really feelings like it's exactly yeah. what she described is what the way he's describing his family um yeah. so yeah she's if she sort of sits and i don't know meditates on it a little bit then who knows have we or do you think we will see obi-wan's brother no i think that was an a nod to people that know the original idea yeah, like sort of a yeah it's an easter egg but but i mean it's it's opening it up for I think later a on, maybe you know, know if they about. want to, they could yeah. throw that out. But I don't think this season. Not I don't in this. think in this Not in series this. you're going to see it. But yeah, no. Yeah, is it oh, like yeah. Dodonna? Is it like <laughs> is he Obi Wan Dodonna? <laughs> Everyone with a white beard is a Kenobi. That's it. Yeah, That's, yeah. I mean, no, he's 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 getting force visions of his granddaughter Ray. That's all it is. I always think it's like yeah, it's, it's, it's like Quinlan. I think it was just sort of just like a hey, we this is the universe, but. I don't yeah. think you're going to see. I don't think we'll see Quinlan. I don't think. No, I, I don't think so. I think it's again, it's it's nods for people who know yeah. the extended stuff, but it's not going to be essential. It's the same way that people are were hoping to see um, any of like Satine, Duchess Satine, and things like that. I'd it'd be cool. It'd be like an offhanded mention, maybe, but I don't think we're going to see flashbacks to Mandalore or anything like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it wouldn't serve um, the story. I don't think. I don't think so. Not this story, because it's so. No. It seems like a really tight, like on paper, simplistic but, story for in yeah. the best way. Um, one of the things I think, though, it ties into the Bad Batch and the Mandalorian, mm. is the fact that they're not just hunting Jedi; they're it's... taking Force users, and them and her saying that they don't know if they're killing them or not. Yeah, they can never lead me again. to believe that Palpatine is taking them to Camino. To, to clone to clone uh, uh, midichlorians mm-hmm. or any kind of any kind of they're farming. Yeah, yeah, they're taking so them to Palpatine like, can Mount make Tansis, his. Yeah, yeah. So Palpatine can make his Snokes and uh, you know eventually his, create his, his, his clone. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, he's he's working on his that... backup plans the whole time. He's always got that in the back burner. Right. And then, like with Grogu, I know there's a over at Celebration last week, they teased the show called Tales of the Jedi, and people mm. swore they saw Yaddle. Yeah. So if, her, if she's going to be brought into the story more, that could saw... hurt. she could get captured. She could take her cells, and that's where baby uh, Grogu came from. I, I think I took yesterday off of being online because I spent so much time over the weekend just watching live streams and watching stuff and like waiting for leaks and cam versions of those exclusive trailers and stuff to go up. So yeah, I mean, Yaddle is definitely in one of those trailers. Um, so that'd be fun. But yeah, that, I think that's going to be what, three episodes about a young Dooku, three episodes about a young Ahsoka. So yeah. that'd be fun. I think, no, yeah. they've said it's like Ahsoka at different stages of her life. So we're going to see her fight in Inquisitors as well. Yeah. I 100% I, I, you, feel you, like they're setting that up. The clones. You guys, I'm sure, covered this last week. What are your feelings on uh, the Grand Inquisitor? I mean, he's not dead, right? No, no way. No. Right. No. He's coming back and he's going to be the one who stabs her at the end. Yeah. And then to get her off Vader. Board, Like, that's she, how it's going to be. Yeah. She, she can't be... I, Damn. I feel like I feel like she works her way up into the ranks, becomes Grand Inquisitor, and then confronts Vader to for what he did. And I think Vader's going to take her out um, okay. in front of Obi Wan. Oh, interesting. I, I the whole yeah, my whole thing is she's trying to get the Obi Wan to to get Vader's it's guard down. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like uh, Kylo bringing in Rey to Snoke. Mm. Mm. So. It, uh, Do you I, think she's just on a path of revenge? She's sold out everything that she was as a, as a youngling or whatever, and she is just solely... She, in the first episode, uh, uh, um, Sun Kang, uh, uh, seventh fifth, brother? Third, fifth, fourth fifth. brother? Fifth brother? Um, he corners her in an alley on Tatooine. Yeah. And is essentially, why is, why is he so important? And she says um, she's owed. She's owed something. She says, and I this, think that thing is revenge. Well. And yeah. she says in this one too. I, I get what I hope I get what I deserve. Or what yeah, I, 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 said. I think yeah, yeah. He, he's like you'll you'll get what you deserve, and she twists it and it's like yeah, I, I hope I do too. And um, I think it's revenge. I I think you're on right. Anakin. I I like it. I I like the idea of her thinking that she's got the upper hand, and then Vader just literally just cuts her in half. Because I feel like if that first scene wasn't so integral to her story, they would have cut it out. Yeah. Like you can't that that show that episode showed up like days. a mere days Hours. after yeah. the yeah. events in Texas. And yeah. I'm like I'm like, it, this is really, really But I mean that's an interesting how you're starting your show. That this former youngling and potential Jedi is so it wrapped up in revenge. I mean, she's brutal in that first episode. She lops that lady's hand off in the street. Like she's brutal. Hmm. She's being clouded by revenge. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. just crazy, you know. And then she's going after yeah. Vader like that. That's just brutal. Yeah. And, um, and meanwhile, you have Obi Wan sitting here being like, "Oh, this is all because of me." Yeah. yeah. She's. she's I'm, I'm sure. Really I'm sure Vader. Palpatine would have found a different apprentice. But I mean, what Anakin or what Vader did in the Jedi Temple was like. I mean, yeah. that's was, all. I mean, that's shattering. all comes back on Obi Wan is his fa failures as the teacher. Yeah. Mm. At least and that's then how now he senses to, it. And then now to realize that not only did he feel fail as a teacher, he now sees what the repercussions were. And then to find out that his student is still alive, like all of this is just like, it's even weighing down on him more. Yeah. And I think that's why he's so weak. His mind is clouded with this grief. Everything. That he can't, the guilt he and the can't grief. can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. I, I, yeah, I think, I think Grand Inquisitor is alive. I think they sort of, they had him in there because they needed to acknowledge that these guys the rest of the inquisitors aren't the, the top guy but to sort of take him off the board to make the story focused is a good idea right. and then he comes back yeah. at the end or whatever but it's also i think that vader sort of offering that position up as a reward to the others is just a motivation it's like whatever yeah. he doesn't, he's not loyal to the grand inquisitor no, he doesn't he's give just a shit. dangling a carrot he doesn't it's care. whoever yeah. impresses him the most can have that position yeah um in the background of like their conference room in their fortress, uh, I'm pretty sure on my second watch I saw there was like a red shelf that had two lightsabers on it and then something in the middle. I think that might be his 
old mask from when he was like a Jedi, uh, the, a temple guard. Um, but I, oh, it was just really? a little thing that I saw in the background. Again, probably will never see it again or get a close up on it. But just a cool little prop if that is the case, because that's like they're definitely sort of fighting around his chair. They're squabbling about yeah. Like, who yeah. gets to sit in the big chair? He'll come back with the with the robot stomach like Fennec. Yeah, or or, or, or just get out of or, a back tank. Or a different Grand Inquisitor will show up and have the long head, and then everyone will be, be quiet happy. about the shape yeah. of his head. Yeah. Will you really have happy Star Wars fans? I mean, I he is one. Never. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. He's white. <laughs> so, they can't be that mad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a bunch of assholes! Yeah, like seriously. I know we're positive on this show, but come on, guys, why? If, if, why are you complaining about? If you have a problem with Moses Ingram because of the color of her skin, then get the fuck out of here. We don't want yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're an awful. You're an awful person. Basically, That's all there is to it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's George Lucas has always said that Star Wars was made for twelve year olds. Yeah, not right. assholes. Yeah, it's not for you. <laughs> but the problem is, those twelve year olds grew up to be assholes. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone who isn't an asshole, uh, James L. Jones was Vader. He was <laughs> you don't credit. know that. <laughs> well, all right, yeah. Someone who doesn't seem like an asshole. No, he seems uh, like a good guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's he gets credited, credit at least. So, do okay, you think that was new recordings, or do you think they've just got every word and they've just put it, it all together? It could be. It's it's hard to say because. You look at Rogue One and you're like, okay, he definitely sounds like an older man mm -hmm. in Rogue One. Right. This sounds more like traditional Vader. Yeah. And I'm wondering if they did what they did with Luke, Luke. Skywalker and Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett. A deep faked it. And and did the deep fake audio thing. Mm. But because Vader has a more sort of robotic cadence that it's yeah. Less it noticeable. seems natural. You can, yeah. you can get away yeah. with it. You can mask a lot with some synthesizers yeah. and stuff over it. Yeah. It's it's interesting because like as far as the Vader performance goes, there was a couple shots where I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely not um uh, Well, no, it is Hayden Christensen, is what I'm saying. It wasn't uh I can't I think of uh David Prowse. David Prowse. David Prowse. Like I'm like, I'm like, it's definitely a different actor in there. Yeah. Um there was a couple of movements where I'm like, that doesn't that looks different to me hmm. maybe it's just because i know hayden christians in the, is in there but i'm wondering if he did the performance and the voice and they were able to use the james earl jones uh robot to sort of mimic his delivery how he was his delivery yeah yeah that um, would be interesting it sounded it, great it sounded great it sounded better than rogue one i thought um yeah. But yeah, it's and I thought all the delivery, all of the line deliveries were like on point. They they sounded right for the scene. It didn't sound like they were just chopping together dialogue. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. And we like, also you also I mean, as far as the action and the fighting style, this is also the youngest Vader we've ever seen outside of yeah. episode three. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we never saw him fight in the suit there. So yeah. 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 yeah that's that's another thing. So he would the, be a little the... more mobile. He hasn't, you know. Mm. Yeah, he's still got that sort of that bearing down brutality, um, like when they. It, it reminded me a lot of when he's fighting Luke on Best. Yeah, Beat. like where he's just he's a tank, just, just hammering. Walking. Him. Yeah, yeah. It was a very very similar sort of feel to that, even like with the industrial setting and stuff. Um, yeah. But again, similar way, he's just toying with his prey. Like he could finish yeah. it at any point. So in the original Star Wars. Uh, uh, George Lucas told Mark Hamill that they need to hold the lightsaber. Here, I'm gonna use this as it's an like example. samurai sword. Hold it with two hands and hold it like samurai swords. Yeah. And uh, that kind of went out the door with Vader in uh, Empire Strikes Back when he uses one hand. Yeah. And that's what I liked about this fight. And between them is they is Obi Wan that immediately grabs the Mandalore or the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, Mandalorian episode, they say that the, the um, dark saber is very heavy and hard to wield, and I like that um, kind of. You need to have the force or be in tune with mm. the force to wield it with one hand. Like it takes it takes an amount of skill to become in tune right. to fight um, with one hand, and I feel like showing him Obi Wan holding it with two hands to fight is is 
part of that storytelling. Yeah, definitely. He's fighting like he and, doesn't know how to hold. Like he's never fought with a lightsaber. It's like, he's yeah, like, he's like yeah. a stick. He's just like blocking yeah. whatever he can. It's yeah. It's instinct. It's more. It's not just like it's not like skill. It is just going. Oh shit! Yeah. Something coming at me in the same way. Even like there's one point where he's like he's got his hands like backwards over it because he's like had to grab hold of it in a, yeah. a hurry, and then he like moves one hand around. It's like it's super awkward, but. It's, it's that kind of detail that's put into the show that it's just working for me. Yeah, completely. It really is because they don't have to do this. They could make it look cool. Yep. They can have a big showdown lightsaber fight in a town, but they're not doing that. I'm sure no, they're telling in, a story. it serves in the some, story. And I love it. Press, in some press tour, I, I think that either Hayden or Ewan have said like, yeah, the fighting style is sort of more reminiscent of the prequels. Which made me go, okay, we're gonna get a lot more flourish. But I mean, so far it certainly isn't. Maybe in a second, I mean, maybe fight, we there'll be a bit more. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be. You know, we're, they're not doing flips and shit. I don't think. No. I don't think it flips, but I mean, I think we might. Like I said, I think we might get one more duel between the I two. Think, where after yeah. after Obi Wan is maybe reconnected with Qui Gon and has sort of got a little bit of his mojo back to the point where he can at least stand toe to toe with Vader again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think this ends in like a feel good. Hey, Luke Skywalker showing up and destroying all the dark troopers. No. And I don't think we're ending that. No. This show ends that way. This show ends, I think, on a downer of a very, Definitely. you know, it's a very broken man going back into hiding. Pre like, presumed dead. I, I yeah. really hope that he's yeah. presumed dead. I think that's the, the best way to go. Um, mm. But he's happy with that. He's can like, it's like he's, he's not presumed dead and running off and hiding. He's going, no, he needs, I, I need to that. die. I need to but, die. I mean, what Vader says in A New Hope, no, he's alive. Like, it's almost like he thought Vader thought he was dead. And then he's like, yeah. no, I sense that he's Tarkin's alive. like, now. yeah, he, he must yeah. be dead yeah. by now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. Star it's Wars is great. Good. Star Wars is like, really this show, good. This show, this show is really good. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's definitely bringing me a lot more joy. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ready to watch this episode again, too. There was um, stuff online people complaining about where it was the music, um, and I don't have any issue with the music. <laughs> What's wrong with people? <laughs> I don't know. I don't just know. Stop watching um, Star Wars yeah. if you want to pick it apart like um, that. Yeah, just stop uh, watching. Don't don't know the reason. I think a lot of people are just saying not a lot of use of the classic themes. Um, other people can probably be complaining complaining that it's a female composer. I do not know, but. <laughs> At the eight, I, I did jot down a timestamp on this episode at the 1845 mark for the Imperials. She is using what is very close to the Imperial theme from 1977. Your favorite, my favorite theme. Yeah. Eddie, do you remember? Do you know the theme I'm talking about? It only appeared in Star Wars. It goes, dun, 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 dun. Oh, dun, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So that was the Imperial theme in the first Star Wars, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacino used it in Rogue One when Vader yeah. appeared. Um, John Powell used it when the range troopers showed up in Solo on the train. And it's a it's a slight there's a slight difference in this version, but she is using it for the Imperials in this, which I love. Um, we did get a little bit of uh I think the force theme when 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 uh Obi-Wan is running away. Mm. There's a there's a li there's little hints of it, yeah. And and I have no reason to complain about well, the show whatsoever. I think <laughs> I think people might be uh, the only reason I think people are complaining other, outside of just being angry Star Wars fans. I think just they when they promoted the show, it was Duel the Fates. You were just slapped yeah. in the face with Duel the Fates, and so right. I think that just got people jazzed up. Like, oh, this is going to be like there's going to be so many nods and winks to the prequels in this. And it's just going to be just filled with that. And I think because you're not getting that, you're getting more of this hybrid where it's sort of bridging the four through six and one as through three be. together. Yeah. As it's what it should be. It shouldn't yeah. be like, let's yeah. just pull all the heartstrings it's... of the prequel fans. It doesn't make any sense. And it makes but... more sense. Like if you get that, if we get this second duel that we're all expecting at the end, that's when you can do like a the duel an of the fates, an O2 yeah. duel of the fates, uh, battle of the heroes. Like you do those, but then you do some new version of it. You put those somewhere with the new obi-wan theme or something like it yeah 
you don't just straight up do it again. That's yeah. nothing interesting it, about that. It, it almost, when Obi-Wan was doing this thing, I don't remember when, but it, you almost hear the Force theme. It's almost like the world is so broken, not even the music can get yeah. to that point yet. And and also, like, the there's no Leia theme yet because this Leia hasn't become that Leia yet. She's right. she's right. growing. So I think maybe we get a hint of it nearer the end when maybe she does something heroic to help someone or something, like... Right. And that's when we'll get a, a bit more of a a tease of her classic theme as well. Like, I I mean, yeah, we, I mean, the time that you could have done that in this episode, if you were going to just subtly would have been when she figures out that everyone knew Padme. She right. like you knew my mother uh, and then yeah. asks if he's her father, yeah. which Rick I thought was that. really quite tragic, but also really nice because she's figuring shit out. She knows that he knows yeah. about padme and again like he could at some point tell her a little bit more about padme and that's how she's getting these images and feelings and stuff and it shows that obi-wan isn't comfortable with talking about anakin yet no and that's why he even to the point in star wars he doesn't feel like he could tell luke the truth about right. vader and it's just it's it's the storytelling is so good right? yeah. it's so good because <laughs> Like it's what so, happened it's to him like on Mustafar broke him. Yeah. What happened to him on Mustafar just destroyed him as a person. Yeah. It broke yeah. everything that he was, and he never yeah. he never recovers. Up until he gets cut in half by Vader in Episode Four, he never recovers from any of what happened on Mustafar. No, right. It's it's why, and again, it's it's it goes back to that amazing scene with Maul in uh, Rebels, where it's like, uh, look what you've become, like a rat in the desert, sort of thing. He's like, no, yeah. it's look what I've be- ro- risen above. And he's like, yeah. dude, you you didn't see me at my lowest. Like, this is me on the yeah. kind of on the up right now. Like. And this is now now this is what I'm thinking is Rebels. Okay, this is great. We're gonna see Qui Gon at the end of the series. I know Absolutely. it 100, yeah. and Absolutely. he's gonna learn to become one with the Force. The and then knowing, having that Qui Gon connection going into then the Darth Maul fight, yep. and Darth Maul trying to use the same move he used on Qui Gon. And Obi Wan at this point, at that point, going through his progressions, he goes through yeah. his his Episode One stance. Then he goes into like his Clone Wars fingers, and then he goes into the oh, yeah. Because no, he starts with like the the Qui Gon up here, yeah. moves into the like the Clone Wars fingers, um, and then yeah, then he goes into like classic Obi Wan Kenobi from uh, A New Hope. Like that's yeah. where he ends up, and that's what he ends up like going with yeah but maul there. tries the qui-gon moves on yeah, the, yeah. The, the move that killed qui-gon and that's what the fuck man like what, what is like, there to complain about this is so awesome this is so <laughs> great to complain i'm about so excited about, about this show it's brilliant but like you when you see ben kenobi in a new hope he goes into the death star no looking for the fight absolutely right so he's, that's he's way different than time he's getting them out yes. he's he's looking for the fight together yeah yeah, but he's you know he's not looking for the fight now. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next three episodes that transforms Ben Kenobi back into Obi Wan Kenobi, where he he can take out Darth Maul in one move, and he goes looking for the Vader fight in A New Hope. Because mm. right now that Obi Wan Kenobi does not exist, and it's mm, going to be right. interesting to see in the next three episodes how we get to that point. It's a name he hasn't heard in a long back. time. Yeah. yeah, because even though people are saying it all the way through this, he's like it's like he's not hearing it. He keeps right. saying, I'm, I'm Ben, my name Every is time, ben. every time someone yeah. says, like... So, yeah. so what if the last time he hears someone call him Obi-Wan is Darth Vader? Like, it's going to make that moment. Yeah. yeah. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. To have Anakin be the last one to say it, and Luke to be this the next the one end for you, Obi-Wan, or whatever, like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah. I think we get. I think we get Qui Gon before the end. I think we get Qui Gon. We might get him next episode. I think so too. Like maybe when he's like recovering, he's healing, he's doing his yeah. meditating. Uh, like he's because we're maybe, we're now at Obi no. Wan's or Ben's lowest. I, I have think, a, right now we're at Ben's lowest. I have a oh, different. Yeah. I have a different thing to offer. We're 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 saying that Vader is going to think that he killed Obi Wan, mm-hmm. and I think Obi Wan is going to be left pretty close to death, mm-hmm. and once his eyes are closed. He's gonna see Qui Gon when he's near death. Maybe. That's when he'll see it. So maybe not soon. Maybe after a second confrontation. 
Possibly. I yeah, think that's be. the thing that's going to let him close his eyes, be one with force, see Qui-Gon finally. And then he's going to rise up the same way that Anakin was left for dead. And now he's being left for dead and he's going to rise like yep. Darth Vader did. Well, and he's going to rise as Obi-Wan. His master. Like, and, and Qui -Gon and, yeah, the, the parallels are it's all gonna, there. It's going to rhyme. Yeah, it's, it's like poetry. poetry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I like it. I like no. it. Scott no. D.S., could Yoda come and save Obi-Wan near death? I don't I don't want to see it. I think I, I, I feel like I feel like a near death experience and that's the bridge to quite this gone. is this is Obi-Wan's fight, not Yoda's fight. Yoda, yeah. like they they when they split and they said, I'm gonna take the Emperor, you take Vader, that should be it. Like they shouldn't like never the paths should cross. I don't want Obi Wan going yeah. after the Emperor, I don't want Yoda going after Vader. Like they are they're doing their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like if you were to have Yoda, it would be a big moment. And this show isn't about the big moments. I feel like the only real cameo we've had is the clone trooper in part two. Yep. And that was completely story driven. Like yeah. Tamara Morrison. Yeah. And that was completely story driven, had nothing to do with check out this cool. We got this guy for the show. No, this is the sad state of where we are in the galaxy right now. It's, and it's it was a final first trooper too. That's why I, I yeah. called that one out last week as well. Yeah. yeah. Cause which is, it's even deeper because it's got the Anakin connection there. It's got like, yeah. you know, they, they served alongside everyone and like Cody and their lot, like a lot. They were, they were close. There is, mm. there is a chance that Obi-Wan served with that particular trooper at some yeah. point. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's very, very cool. <laughs> Star Wars is that's great. Correct. That's correct. It is very cool. That's what makes Star Wars cool is storytelling. Yes. Not right. not writing rancors and I, I have nothing against those shows, but but I feel no, like No, I enjoy those shows. I enjoy all the shows. I'm yeah, yeah. I Look, enjoy we went them. from fun. nineteen we went from nineteen eighty three to nineteen ninety nine with nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can throw right. everything at me and I will I will eat it all up. It's what we say <laughs> all the time. In, in ninety seven, we were so excited to see that janky job of the hut yeah i was so excited to see han solo Wars. step on jabba hut's tail i was like yeah. oh whatever <laughs> just throw it at me i don't care yeah, yeah. i didn't have to complain i was so, like hey cool job of the hut in star wars no yeah. is it all high cinema no but i don't care it's, it's fun no, it doesn't need to be it's never it makes us never... feel like 12 year olds yeah yeah, yeah. not racist <laughs> <laughs> if star wars makes you feel like a racist then goddamn they're really doing the story wrong <laughs> <laughs> So Princess Leia gets captured at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, um she's I almost she's, thought it was gonna be a cameo because the voice uh, was kind of low, and I was like, I didn't know whose voice it was, but I was like, oh, it's the Inquisitor. I I didn't how, think how it did was she get when... to the other end of the tunnel though? That bothered me. Parkour. That's just purely a direction. Yeah, thing. she does love she does parkour. love parkour. She parkoured <laughs> up and over the mine. Um no, I, I was like, okay, where's where's she gone? Because um, what's her name? The, the the rebel essentially uh, gets out of that tunnel, and I'm like, yeah. did, wait, did they not cross? I, I just assume it's a maze of tunnels. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was dead when they said when yeah, they I said bye so to her. I was like, oh, she's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I assume it's just is a she, maze of tunnels. She a Jedi? That lead everywhere. No, she. I mean, she she signed up. She was an Imperial. Um, oh, okay. Like, like yeah. she sort of says, she's like, I signed up when the Empire stood for something. It's like, oh, girl, they never stood for anything. Yeah. Right. Um, they are complete front for the Sith. Um, but the thing is, it shows that like Zach Braff thinks that they do good. Like yeah. there are people out there who have bought into this. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I thought that was a really nice, like not nice moment, but I thought it was a really good moment where it's like he's he's not dumb like that guy. Like he looks no, dumb, no. but he's yeah, he's got a weird <laughs> face, but he's like though they he wants got to live sus. in a safe and secure society that's what he he's wants. got a job yeah. his his job's yeah. secure he's fine and yeah. he seems friendly enough with the troopers they're obviously not hassling him so yeah we saw a stormtrooper get cut in half i didn't that expect was that. Dope. that was that was, that was really cool, cool. and, and it, it if was, you want to yeah. go with a cool fight that's the one because like obi-wan yeah like despite not liking blasters he's really good with one like yeah. he can he, snapshot he, with the best of them yeah he has to use it though like he's so yeah. out of tune with the force it's it's he's he's um he can't will to like come uncivilized he's yeah. become uncivilized and it's just that's another storytelling thing they show his gun a lot and it's like 
it's because of the story. He's it's relying on, because of the story. yeah, you know that he's a broken man, that he's relying on a gun more than anything else. Yeah. 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 And he and he, he knows himself he wouldn't be able to take out all these guys using his lightsaber. With his lightsaber, he's yeah. not quick enough. He couldn't deflect oh. a blaster bolt if he had yeah. to. No. Yeah. Uh, Scott D yeah. asks if uh, Moleface dude is a cool practical effect. It looked like it looked yeah. practical to me. Looked practical, yeah. Especially the way like the the stunt performer that was in it sort of had to fall quite slowly when Obi Wan sort of knocked him because it's <laughs> yeah. like that's going to be an awkward don't fall otherwise. It. And also, yeah, don't 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 mess don't up. Don't break it because we need take two. Yeah, yeah. You think it's really Zach Braff? No chance. I feel no. like I would show up. I think oh, that someone... is. I think that is Zach Braff uh, probably on his podcast with Donald Faison. Faison sort of bragging about being in a Star Wars because he loves it so much. And Zach going, I can make a call. I can be in Star Wars if I want to be. Yeah. Uh, I think that's exactly Seth Rogen's, what that is. Seth Rogen's in the suit. Uh, yeah, Seth Rogen in his, the suit and Zach Braff does the voice. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have much more to talk about. Uh, we're hitting pretty close to the runtime of the episode, so... I think we're over it. <laughs> get those, yeah, get those numbers up. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Star um, Wars. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, Three white bearded thoughts... men can talk for longer than you can. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. I feel like. When do we push the creates... supplements? Do we do that now? Do we push the supplements now? <laughs> hey, we, we don't have sponsors. We need to get more followers. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck Joe Rogan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, do you have anything you want to promote? Uh, you can check me out the on the Ralph Report, Report five days on Patreon.com. Uh, my website right there, Eddie.com, and check out my comedy special on Amazon. And yeah, that's awesome. about it, really. Yeah. I'm halfway through listening to today's to today's Ralph Report. Um, oh, nice. I love it. I listen to it every day. And uh, it's highly entertaining. Uh, go sign up; it's a great show. Yeah. And um, I used to when I was driving for a living. I used to listen to. I used to be have, have a lot more time for daily podcasts. Now, yeah. now yeah. I've got to pick and choose. <laughs> but it yeah. is great. No, and it's a, it's a lot of content. So unless you yeah. can make a way for an hour every day, it's a lot of content. Mm. But yeah, yeah, it's a fun show. I make the I make the time. Mm. Well, thank you. Um. Here's a question. Does, was Ryan Johnson in the... I, I thought that at first, and I was like, is that? And then I tilted my head, and it wasn't. I don't, I'm don't. i certain that it wasn't Ryan Johnson. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can see that there, uh, there was a sort of a, a sim similarity there. All right. Well, next week, we're going to be here at the same time. Is that right? It would have been funny if they killed Ryan. Uh, next week, yeah, it would have been. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, that's, that's, that is that portion of the internet fan casting, I think, at that point. Um, yeah, next week, we, we are back at the same time next week, I believe. Okay, cool. And we'll have guest Adam Frazier. I believe. Yeah, Adam's joining us next week. Yeah, and then uh, today marks the first time I've put a, a flat-out bad guy. I put up Darth Vader as our show artwork oh wow this is our yeah this is we've been going for over a year and i've yet to put i tend not to put bad guys for some reason Wait. i think cool. yeah it's really weird uh, <laughs> you put bounty thinking. hunters though right because they're not technically bad guys cad bane i think is the the baddest guy we put he's okay. pretty bad guy yeah. he's a pretty bad guy he's a pretty bad but guy Mando like... showed up <laughs> boba showed up boba, and then Tarkin boba in, in the context groupers. In the, in the context of like when we've seen Tarkin, I think you can call him a good guy. But <laughs> Cad Bane, pretty much a bad yeah. guy. He's pretty much yeah. a bad dude. Yeah. Yeah. Here's all our info. YouTube.com slash live action SW. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram and I guess Facebook again. I, yeah. I, I, I reactivated my account, which reactivated the live action Star Wars account. You're not getting anything different there. It's just going to be whatever automatically generates. So Facebook is is now a thing again, but I'm not touching it. Uh, and then uh, at Live Action SW. Oh, and then also I did this over the last week because we never talk about the merch. We have a few things in the merch shop. I think I'm going to start doing more, but uh, merch.liveactionstarwars.com or merch.liveactionsw.com will take you to the Threadless page. Yes. And get a shirt that says salad, a hardware war story. Um, My favorite shirt. <laughs> pretty great shirt. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to have one of those shirts by next year because it was announced that Celebration is coming back and it's coming to the UK. You guys are getting it. I'm awesome. So yeah, it's, it's going to be, a, it's, yeah, I think 2016 was the last time that we had one. Uh, so I will absolutely be there. We'll weekend. see how I fit in on this whole um, thing. If you can make it over, Ralph, I, yeah. I mean, that's that's my goal now for the next year is to get you over. We need, um, we need. I will followers. be applying. I will be applying. Share for the page. Stage. Share the share the page. Yeah. We'll get those supplement commercials in, and yeah. then it'll give me money to head over there. Get Ralph <laughs> the celebration. <laughs> We've got a boner year. pills and mattresses. Pills. It'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna buy the boner pills. You need a mattress to use them on. So <laughs> yeah, you got mattress ads, <laughs> mattress ads, and boner pills. Just makes sense. Boner pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Audio books. I think a lot of people advertise Audible. Let's do that as well. Let's let's work. Audible out. ads. Well, Audible don't say ads. the name. All right, books. Books on tape ads. <laughs> books on tape. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, Eddie. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It was we fun. love having you. And, Always love talking um, Star thanks Wars. to everyone. Yeah, I mean. Especially now. It's so good. It's really it's good. so, so good. I'm actually excited for the next season of Bad Batch. Me Will too. we cover it on our Data Link episodes? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> we might do one episode dedicated to it. It but might come up. I'm sure it will come up. It might come up. I, I'm really excited for Star Wars. So, um, yeah, thanks to everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, don't give in to hate. Celebrate <laughs> Please the Please don't. There's enough of it out there. <laughs> punch yeah. it. And punch a racist.